Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Got these out. That's right, we're going to be making projectiles from hot glue. Uh, I can't do a lot with the HDR50 because you're quite limited to what you can put in the, uh, the drum, the magazine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll just be putting like ball bearings and little screws and stuff in there. With the HDS68, you're not limited to what length you can put in because if it fits down the barrel you can put it in there so I've got the mold for the HTS 68 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some screws down but uh, I'll show you down here what I'm gonna do <laughs> it's gonna get a bit noisy because I'm in the garage and we've got no power up here at the minute so I've got the generator so that's gonna be running for the the glue gun I've uh, just got hold of a load of um, black glue sticks and uh, yeah we'll get things fired up and uh, get some of these made and see what what they can do uh, we'll take them out on the range when we're done so I'll see you down here and we'll get creating now I'm gonna put that on these nuts just to hold them off the table so that the screws can stick through that's what I'll do give it a little bit of a Squirt the old WD and we'll drop some screws through. So we're going to let them go off now, won't take long, um, and then we'll pop them out, trim them up a little bit and uh, see what they look like.
there we have it. We've got some of these for the HDS 68 with screws in. Uh, there's a few of them. Got some of these for the HDR 50. These are the ones with the ammo six slug making around. They got the little bit of twisting on the bottom. And I've just got some plain HDR 50 ones as well. I'm not expecting the HDS 68 ones to be ever so accurate. Um, the screws didn't go in straight. If the screw was the same size as the hole in the bottom of the mould maker, um, they might have sat a bit straighter. But at the end of the day, this isn't a target gun, is it? It's um, home defence. I'll get onto that in a bit. But yeah, so, um, so we've got some uh, projectiles here. We'll take them out onto the range and see what they can do. So uh, <laughs> it's the next day. I'm out on the range. I'm going to try and get this done before the rain starts. So HDR 50, we've got the the ammo six, and we've got the uh, the other slug maker. We'll try the ammo six ones first. I'm about three meters away from the target. Um, three meters, ten foot, the sort of distance that you'd likely be if you was to be uh, defending yourself. So we'll see. I've got got some bottles of water down here and I've got some 10 mil OSB um, so we'll see what damage it does to those hopefully I won't get any ricochets and damage the camera but we'll see what we can come up with Didn't really damage the OSB, but they went into those bottles quite nicely. Now we've got the HGS 68 with these projectiles with screws in. Uh, these things. So we'll get it loaded up and we'll shoot some down here. See what what that does to the wood. don't know where they're going so I'm going to stop shooting them because obviously we drive around here
There's a few in there. Sounds like there's a couple in there. There's a little one in there. This is quite a tough bottle. So it went in there and at the top here. The rest of them it's just put dents in. This one it blew the top off. So yeah, penetration wasn't brilliant. I was expecting maybe a little bit more, but it's OSB, which is quite solid stuff. And they went through these bottles all right. Obviously that's not a good indicator if you're shooting skin. I do get a lot of comments where people shoot a lump of meat, shoot a frozen chicken. No, that's food. I'm not wasting food. I can't do with waste. Um, I can guarantee you, if you get hit by one of these, it's going to hurt. Um, whether it would stop you in your tracks or not, I do not know. Um, I've not heard of any incidents where somebody has actually used one of these home defence weapons in anger. Um, so I can't comment on that. I know that if you get hit by the HDR with Devastator rounds, you would probably stop in your tracks if you was a sane person um, so all these comments saying now oh, that's a toy here in the US we can have real guns here in Europe we can't have real guns so we make do with what we can get hold of um, <laughs> don't worry I'm not gonna go into a rant on this video but uh, just be warned if you comment stupid comments I will reply not all the time but I will tell you what a, a dickhead I think you are. Anyway, so that was a little bit of a test with hot glue bullets. Um, you know, it, they penetrated the, the plastic bottles with filled with water. Didn't do too much on the OSB, but... At the end of the day, it's 20 joules, isn't it? And you've not got the velocity, because you've not got the... I've not put a lot of... Um, weight in there you can put bigger BBs in it and bits and pieces like that which I will experiment with further down the line um, and do some more comprehensive testing and get some better targets uh, I think a lot of people like to see targets being destroyed because I get complaints saying that I don't shoot many targets but all right, fair enough I'll try and get hold of some crockery and bits and pieces I want to sort this area out a little bit first Maybe put some membrane down and some chalk so that this grass doesn't keep growing up. That's the plan anyway. Um, so, oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there's hot glue projectiles all over the place now. I'm hoping that I don't pick any up with the tractor. Because <laughs> it'll go straight through the bloody tyre. I didn't expect them to ricochet out that OSB quite the way they did. Um, but there you go so I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one bye for now